That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. Uh, let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy! It's not going anywhere unless I reconstruct Lucius's print. Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. I remember when Tiffany brought that back from art class. <laughs> All right, that's a start. Tiffany built that rocket herself. Lucius was so proud. Getting there. Prince should do it. Okay, still unconscious. Hope he's not hurt too badly. a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell him what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? You're really holding us up. Even now, still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch. Anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key.
looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? It's for emergencies, in case Wayne Enterprises is ever attacked. Terrorism, invasion from a foreign power. This is for some kind of paramilitary use? And you're some kind of survivalist, right? I came looking for answers, but I didn't expect this. You're in much deeper than I thought. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce. No need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's going to want to know about your uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? Just act natural. Natural? Yes, natural. Acting normally. There's nothing wrong. Normality is a social construct, Bruce. It's a way of exerting control over the other. He means keep your mouth shut. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, now. No need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Come on, Bruce. You know how dangerous this tech could be in the wrong hands. Yoo-hoo! What the hell is going on in there? Just give him the key, Tiffany. Then we can all be on our way. I said no. You can't bully me into it, Bruce. I know what they're capable of. And from what I'm seeing, you're no better. Oh, well. Ah! Ah! Tiffany! Well, how about that? Looks like Brucey boy's got more than just technology in his vault. Keeps his little squeezes down here, too. Just let her go, Harley. I don't think I will. Not without knowing who this vicious little sweetie pie is. I kinda like her, but I don't know whether to smooch her or smash her head in. You gonna tell me who she is to you? Or am I gonna have to find out the hard way? We grew up together. You could say she's family. You're no family of mine. Oof, Bruce. Your friend seems a little hot under the collar. <coughs> <laughs> she certainly has your fire, Bruce. Or should I say, your spark. You people killed my dad, didn't you? He crashed my father's funeral. And now you're here raiding his lab! I whacked a bunch of people in my time, sugar. But I don't think your old man's on my list. Then again, I sometimes lose track of the name. I can't believe you'd associate with these... with these maniacs! These killers! Oh, sweetheart. Mr. Suit and Tie ain't just an associate. He's a bad, bad man. He wants to be one of us. <laughs> ain't that right, Brucey? Came to us for help with a mutual enemy. Now you want to be part of the family, don't you? At least that's what you've been saying. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm with you. Birds of a feather and all that. Oh, Bruce, I'm tearing up. You can be a real heartbreaker when you turn on the charm. Mm. Let her go. Bruce will keep her quiet, one way or another, now that he's part of the family. Ah! 
Uh, Harley, look what I found. It was just sitting up in that vault. Oh, that's great, Pud. You get a cookie, too. Mm. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up, too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Bruce! Are you alright? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. My heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming at Tiffany. I don't blame you for saying you were one of them. It made sense to placate them, even if it meant breaking Tiffany's heart. That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. You know what she's like? She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. She shouldn't be left guessing. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. I yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid she's going to be curious about your friends from upstate. She seemed to be thoroughly unsettled after your encounter. Now. After what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You're always so good at this, Alfred. You'll figure out the right thing. Yes, I suppose I will. Bruce, I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. And believe me, I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. But this whole masquerade with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful and good luck. Bad signal. Rooftop briefing. Almost feels like the good old days. <laughs> <coughs> well, if you mean the city's crawling with masked lunatics and I'm not the commissioner, you're not far off the mark. That's not what I meant. Waller told me. Everything's gotta go through her office now. <sighs> uh, the motion's still tied up in paperwork. For once, the bureaucracy is working in my favor. Here. You're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from sealed records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. A uh, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. I know what she's done, but... I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. 
Save your sympathy for her victims, Jim. The woman is a menace. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're gonna push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No, just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a damn thing about. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? Best laid plans and all that. I do know. This city has made me who I am. So I've heard. I just wish Gotham produced more Batmans and less Riddlers. Make my job a whole lot easier. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. Does she know who I really am? Who do you think told me who you are? <laughs> for the world's greatest detective, you sure can be slow. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. Putting a tail on me jeopardizes the mission. Call it off. You're right. I will. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you're not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with them at the moment. 
You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. Al, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. All right. Here we go. 